Sing Sing's in Papua New Guinea. They occur in um, various places around the country. Um, in this particular situation that I'm, I'm bringing myself to is to focus on the Sing Sing's in Mount Hagen, uh, Wabag and Garoka, which are three major centres in the highlands. The history of it's quite fascinating, but, but, but right now that it's very different. It's, it's purely about um, dance and um, extravagance of, their, of their, their body pain and their, their kind of masks and, and, and their singing and dancing. So it, it's, a, it's a total, I would almost go to the point of a, you know, sort of a, a real a tribal Woodstock. This is absolute mayhem and where thousands and thousands of people are performing. And they're performing for money, for prizes, um, and it's still considered a place of um, neutrality. So if you are in the middle of a tribal war, the Sing Sing is a place that you go to and you forget that tribal war for that moment and then you can go back and fight later. So it's quite a, a, a it's got a very powerful um, spirituality about the Sing Sings. Um, so, you know, this gathering of all these different tribes and, you know, multitudes of colour and feathers and, you know, just, you know, children and old people attracts everyone. And so, as a photographer, it's a visual feast. I mean, I go in there and I take my studio, which is a, a white sheet uh, or a black sheet, depending on whether I'm shooting colour or black and white. So, white for black and white, black for colour. Just a, a a creative choice from my part and I have assistants that travel with me or I find people there to hold the sheet up and I make these impromptu portraits. I choose my subjects and I stand them in front of the sheet and I make these photographs and I'm capturing them but I'm capturing also much more. I'm capturing an environmental portrait, I'm capturing the landscape, I'm capturing the crowd that don't know they're being photographed. So I'm really interested in the periphery of around the sheet as much as I am about the subjects. So it's really important to you know, for me to have that sort of, you know, window and then I come up with these amazing moments where the crowd are, you know, sort of gazing off or in, in, behind you there's a shot of a guy holding a dartboard. I mean, this, I find the crowd just as interesting as the subjects themselves.